Hi everyone, welcome to Productivity Guru. I recently bought and have been playing around with Hazel. Hazel touts itself as being an automated organizer for your Mac. Simply put, you give it certain rules and actions and it will keep watching the folder. Whenever those rules are applicable, it will quickly take actions defined by you in the background without you having to do anything. So just for example, I have a rule in which whenever I download an invoice from AWS, it automatically gets a date, renames the file to that date and then files it in the invoice folder. If you want to learn how to do that, you can comment below and I'll create a video for the same. Now let's get to what problem we're trying to solve today. Over the years, I've downloaded a lot of fonts. I want to put them all in one folder, which will make it easy for me to access these fonts whenever I need to. Problem is, fonts in general are delivered in zip files. As soon as you unzip them, you end up creating folders for each font. Now Hazel has a solution, but it isn't easily available. That's why I created this video. The way we're going to fix this is by using something called as nested conditions. So let's get to it. All right, so let's get started. So uh, first we have, we'll open up our example folder. I've already created this example folder just to show you this example. So in example folder one, we have a Excel file. In example folder two, we have a Sado bread checklist, a PDF file. In uh, example website, we have a CSS file and an index file and uh, index.html file. And in CSS, what we're gonna do in, as generally the case, under the fonts folder, we'll add a few fonts. You'll understand why in a second. And there's a basic image, uh, two basic images. So now let's just quickly go to Google fonts and grab our fonts. So I have already gone to uh, the Roboto font. Looks pretty good. Now what we do is we come to our example folder only and we'll save our zip archive there. And once that's done, we we'll close it. We we'll just double click. Now we've got Roboto font over here. Now we're gonna do one more thing. We're just gonna copy a few of these fonts and paste it into our website as well. You'll understand why shortly. Okay, now that that's done, let's open up Hazel. To open up Hazel, you click the Hazel icon and then you click open Hazel. Now Hazel will open up. I have already put in example folder for us to do the demo here. We'll add a new rule. We'll call it fonts. You can see the plus sign here. What we're going to do is we're going to press option or alt and select this. What this does is it creates a nested condition basically. So we get rid of the first one. Here we'll keep all. And here we'll select all files, rather we'll just select any of its files or subfolders. And what we want is we want the extension. Why? Because look at this. Why? Because it's .ttf, right? So .ttf. Now, if you want to do a similar thing for .otf, another font format, you can just create another rule and do the same. And we're going to move it to another folder. We're going to move it inside uh, other Now what we're going to do is we're cre creating a new folder called fonts create and this is where we'll save all our fonts. Right now there's just one font but we'll save all our fonts. Now I'll just show you one problem with this and you'll understand why we had created the example website. So we grab the Roboto and we put it over here. It says, now this is called previewing basically. So it says that the rule matches which means that we have file formats which are .ttf and it's inside the folder. Okay. Now we'll grab the example website as you remember and we'll again put it and again it says rule matches. So how do you prevent example website from being copied to the fonts folder? Very simple. We'll add in a new rule. We'll just say subfolder, uh, subfile folder count is one. That's it. That's not actually right. Um, had to select subfolder depth, not folder count. Okay. So now what this will say is that um, I'll just explain this with an example in a second. So to preview again, what all you have to do is just grab the example website and put it here. You can see the rule does not match. Why? Because where is our font? Where is our .ttf saved? This is layer one, layer two, and layer three. Our ttf comes in layer three. Now, if you click here, it will show that the subfolder depth is three. 
Whereas in a normal font file, it will be in the first layer itself. So in Roboto, it's layer one. Now, how can we confirm it's in layer one? Just drag it and drop it. And again, it'll tell you that subfolder depth one. So everything looks great. And um, let's click OK. Now I'll say, oh yeah, forgot. Run rules now. As you can see, it's moved Roboto only to fonts. It's not moved the example website. Now let's just humor this system for a second. And we'll select uh, throw away duplicate files as well. Why? Because now what I'm going to do, it's going to create a duplicate file of Roboto and I want to get delete that. So you can understand the example better. Let's create another uh, Roboto file. Oh, it's put that again. Okay. So next time you want to do this, just, but uh, you can see now it has two Roboto files. So let's close that for a second create another Roboto file. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this and I'm going to get rid of the subfolder depth. Why? You'll understand in a second. It will explain to you why that rule is so important. Now we'll select fonts again and we'll say run rules now and look at example website. You can see it's even dragged uh, example I'll fonts from folder fonts. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's created. I don't know why it's creating duplicates. It has to delete the duplicate, but anyways, you'll get the point. So that's why it's necessary to basically, you know, that's why it's necessary to have that. So all I do to fix this is again, go to subfolder depth, subfolder depth is one and that's it. It'll take care of this not coming back again. So just for our demo purposes, let's see if this comes back. So we, take it here, we put it back. We take Roboto also and put it back. And now let's see because it will sync it automatically. You can make it run the rule as well. Oh yeah, it's run the rule automatically. So see, only Roboto has come in. Example website is there only. So I hope this was helpful for you. Now imagine what all are the possibilities with this. This is just fonts, but you can do the same with images, with videos, with whatever you want basically. The entire folder is moved. This is something that I couldn't find easily and the answer is just not available. That's why I decided to make this video. If you found this video helpful, then please like this video and subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to see more videos on Hazel, then please let me know by commenting below. We will be doing a few more videos on Mac productivity apps. Thank you for watching.